Hello everyone. Today we are going to work on how we validate a Bayesian network model. Before that, it is important if I recall you our last uh, tutorial. I will leave a link of this tutorial in the description and you can have a look on that. What we did last time, how we construct a Bayesian network. If I quickly revise this, let me choose this pen that uh, we were looking for uh, probability in terms of child given that the parent so the parents will always have a link to the child child cannot have a link to the parents uh, we did some example uh, last time and you can have a look on that uh, uh, tutorial as well i will leave a link in the description but today we are going to work on uh, how we validate a bayesian network from probabilities so there are two examples uh, this is example number one and i have a second example for you as well so it is saying that uh, for the given probabilities below these are the probabilities given to us determine if bayesian network is uh, valid or not and this is the system of our probabilities before i go into this uh, solution just uh, keep in mind a uh, bayesian network or the bn model it has some properties one of the property is that it is a directed acyclic acyclic uh, graph so that means uh, it is also called as a dag this means basically that the, if a model is uh, a Bayesian network, it must have some direction between the nodes. Without direction, it cannot be a Bayesian network. And it must be acyclic. Means to say, there should be no cycle. Let me write it down here. There should be no cycle in the graph. So, let's say I have... Uh, this A, I have this B here, and I have C here. I'm going to explain you what does the A cyclic mean. And A is going into C, A is going into the B, and B is going into the C. As you can see that there are uh, directions that we can see that there is an arrow going from A to B, or B to C, and A to C. It could be any direction. So this condition is met, but the next condition is it must be acyclic. Now let's look at this. If I draw this, uh, this direction, I will get something like this. It is going here and then from B to C and then A to C. So there is no cycle in this. So any kind of such graph is what we call as a acyclic and because it is directed, it is called as the directed acyclic graph and it is fulfilling one of the conditions of Bayesian network. There is another condition of Markov chain. I will explain you in some other tutorials about that. So this is what there is no cycle in this. Now let's assume that I have similar A, I have B and I have C here. So let's say this time we are going to B and the B is going into the C and C is coming back to the A. Now you can see that there is a cycle associated with it. The cycle is going from A to B, B to C and C to A and then it is keep going in a cycle. Even though it is a directed uh, links, the links are directed means to say there are arrowheads going from one point to another but because it is a cyclic uh, graph, it is not a Bayesian network. Okay. So that was is the complete definition and understanding of directed acyclic graph. Now let's come and see how we can uh, identify if this system of uh, uh, probabilities is a valid Bayesian network or not. Now if I recall you from my previous uh, tutorial, I mentioned that we need to know the probability of a child given that parent i strongly recommend you that you look on my previous uh, tutorial i will leave a link in the description here so child uh, given that the parent so the direction that i mentioned last time is that it will come from parents to child 
and uh, this will never be from child to parent. Now let's apply this uh, rule on these variables and I would like to take a different color just to avoid any confusion. So let's take the blue one. Okay. Now let's start uh, with the first one. If you recall from last uh, tutorial again, this is my px1. This means to say it is uh, my only variable which don't have any parents and which don't have any child. Now let's go to the next one which is uh, probability of x2 given that x1. As I mentioned you the general formula you need to keep in mind it is child given that parent. So this means to say this is my parent and this is the child. So the direction should always come from parent to child. So if I look on this one it is my parent here and x2 will become my child for this probability function and the direction will go from parent to child. Now the same rule will we apply on the next one which is the probability of x3 given that x1. x1 is a parent again and x3 is my child. So let's say uh, draw one more node of x3 and what should be the direction? It should be from x1 to x3 because it will come from parent to child. So this is uh, coming along this from x1 to x3. In the next one, we have uh, p of x4 given that x1. Again, x1 is a parent here and the child will be x4. So this is my x4 here and the parent of x4 is x1. So this link should be going towards x4. Now let's go on the next one. Now we have a new variable introduced which is uh, x5 and its parents are x2 and x3. So this is my x2, this is my x3 and their child will be x5. And again the direction should come from x2 to x5 and x3 to x5 because these are two parents and this is one child here. So from x2 to x5 and x3 to x5. And the last uh, probability is x5 given that x4 again this is my parent and this will go to the child node. So this is my parent here and this is going to the child node. So we have constructed our Bayesian network. Now we need to check either it is a valid uh, Bayesian network or not. Again we need to look keep in mind the property of our DAG, DAG which is directed acyclic graph. So we can see that this is directed because we just draw this and let's see if there is any cycle here. So if I start from x1, it is going to x2, it is going to x5 and it is not coming back from anywhere which is good. The next uh, condition we need to check is it is coming from x1 to x3, x3 to x5 and it is again not coming back to x1. So it is acyclic again and the last is uh, it is coming from x1 to x4 and from x4 to x5 and again it is not coming back to x1 then this means it is a acyclic. So I can say that this is a DAC basically directed acyclic graph. So it is a valid it is a valid Bayesian network model. So it is a valid Bayesian network model. I hope I'm clear on this. Let's do the second example and it will help you more to understand. Now in the second example, it is asking me the same thing. I need to determine if my Bayesian network is valid or not. This is my system here. Let me write down our equation that we are learning here. And in the previous uh, tutorial as well, the child given that the parents. So let's start from this one. X1 is here, it is only one variable. The next one is X2 given that X1. This is my parent. If I look on this uh, relationship, X1 is my parent and X2 is my child here. So X2 is my child here and he's going from X1 to X2. This is the direction of course. And over here, 
x3 is the parent and x1 is the child so again this direction we need to follow if i draw let's say x3 over here now this is my parent node it should go into the x1 so this is going to x1 the last one second last one it is saying that x uh, probability of x4 given that x2 so x2 is the parent and it is going to x4 so let's say i draw my x4 here and x2 is the parent of course and the child is x4 and the last one is x3 given that x4 and again the direction according to our this uh, rule it should be from parent to child so x4 is my parent here and x3 is my child here now let's see if this is a valid bn model or not and uh, let me change the color here as you can see that if i start from x1 it is going uh, towards x2 which is going towards x4 which is going towards uh, x3 and it is again coming back to x1 so it is uh, moving in a circle okay it is keep moving in a circle so this is not uh, fulfilling our properties of directed acyclic graph because it is a cyclic it is directed of course but it is cyclic so because it is uh, a cyclic graph so we will say that it is uh, not a valid pn model There are some different techniques uh, if our network is not a valid BN model. I will also make some tutorial on those techniques. How we can deal with uh, the graphs which are uh, cyclic graphs. So I hope uh, this is uh, clear. If you have any questions, uh, you are welcome to email me. And uh, thank you very much.